Hello and welcome to the Mal and Johnny show. And uh, to be honest, I'm not even sure where Johnny Tudor is today. Where are you, Johnny? Well, I'm in my friend Emily Squire's house, Dorothy's niece, because I've lost my internet connection. <laughs> right. Um, do you remember, <laughs> you know, do you remember so where you were when I you had it last? I don't internet. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, that's much better. Somebody else is paying for it. I mean, what can we see behind it then? Oh, well, uh, well look, Emily's mother was in show business as well. So if you look, there's some, I'll just move out of the way. See yeah. some of those bills yeah. and pictures of her? That They were when she was playing David Pantomime. Wow. She was a real character mother. She was... She was very funny, like a comedian and singer. Right, right. So is that was that um, Dorothy's sister, or was it sister-in-law? How did sister-in-law. It work? Sister-in-law. Well, well yeah, well. she married uh, Emily's father, who was, was Dorothy's brother. Oh, okay. So it's kept, kept, kept it all in the business. That's brilliant. That's yeah. Brilliant. How yeah. is Emily, by the way? Is she okay? She's not so bad. She's been to the gymnasium today. Right. She's just, oh, she's doing this for me. <laughs> <laughs> We should remind the listeners that she was diagnosed with Parkinson's, but she's not letting it affect her life as much. It's well, not letting her get it down. Not letting her get it down. So well done to Emily and Merry yeah. Christmas to. I suppose we start saying Merry Christmas, don't we? So, um, right, a couple of things. We were talking about you going back to my stig to your boyhood haunts. Now, tell us what it was like. Well, it was strange, really, because um, you know you remember these things from a child, don't you? The things you do as a kid, you know, out on your gamble, you know, your soapbox cart or. You're, you're, you're pinching apples or whatever you did, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm, I'm walking on all these different places there used to be. They've changed, obviously. Mm. I mean, the street's different. They used to be all like individual shops and they're, they're either takeaways or, you know, it's it, it's a bit sad in some ways. And I went to my father's old pub where, where I used to live and it's now a Weatherspoons. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So what was it called when your yeah. dad ran it? What was it called? It was called the Sawyer's Arms. It's still called the Sawyer's Arms. Wow. Uh. Wow. Yeah, Did so, you know, it was, yeah. But I was thinking about the things we used to do. You know, we, I used to ride big horses bareback. You know, <laughs> there was a guy there was a guy called Roy. He used to keep these, he had a pre-farm in a council estate. Right. And his back garden led onto the mountain. He had all horses in the back garden. Oh, my God. We used to pay him two and six to go in his horses. <laughs> and I'm sure they were broken in prop. We used to gallop. I wrote all this in my book, you know, the Pegs Boys book. Yeah. Some of the things we used to do was amazing, picking Wimbleys up the mountain and, uh, you know, things that kids don't do now. I mean, yeah. they, I think people are frightened to let them go out on their own. Like we used to go off on our own. I suspect, suspect you did. Well, yeah. You know, pop used a to... pop and a, and a sandwich, you know what I mean? You go out at breakfast time, you come back for supper, didn't you? I mean, you're out all well, day. Well, exactly. Yeah, we used to go to the swimming pool at, at 10 o'clock in the morning, come home at 5 o'clock, <laughs> ravenous, <laughs> yeah. eating beans on top. <laughs> Uh, I mean, but so the, 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 was there, did he see anybody that you knew? Obviously, we're talking a long yeah, time well, ago. Well, what I did, I picked up an old friend of mine. He now lives in uh, Penavai, which is just by Bridget. Right. But he was he lived in my stay when I lived in my stay. And um, he reminded me that, that the pub had caught fire and I'd stayed with him and his mother. I'd forgotten completely about it. Um, they, they, we woke up in the middle of the night. There was a fire. Right. So... My mother and father went somewhere and they sent me off to this kid's house to stay the night, you know. Wow. Um, but his father was the bank manager and his mother was re- was related to uh, the Duna family. Now, the Duna family were all show people family and they owned, they owned the cinemas in the area. Um, and then we just walked around my stake and looked at all the places. We went to look at the old school we went to and uh, the shop that used to sell potato guns. <laughs> Do you remember those? So to explain if anybody doesn't know it. How did it work, a potato gun? Go on, show us. Well, us. It, it was a gun. It looked like a gun and a little nozzle on the top. And you'd get a potato and you'd stick it into the potato and it would gouge out a little piece yeah. and you'd shoot at it like, like a pellet. Yeah. You know? <laughs> They'd probably say health and safety you could have on these days. <laughs> And then we used to make slides in the yard. Do you remember that? Yeah. I don't know if you did this. We used to... We used to some of the kids, when I was a kid, they had like little hobnaily boots. Yes. You know, and they, when it was a, a very frosty morning, they would slide on this frost. And in the end, it was like glass yeah. in the yard. You know, we'd skid on this big thing. You wouldn't be allowed to do it today. We had great fun, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I went back to um. Obviously, when we did that uh, video for away in a manger, it was in the church that uh, I'd done my first yeah. Christmas carol concert. And I must admit, um, 
I got all dewy eyed about it, you know, because I could see the people. I could see the people that my yeah. grandmother would come to the carol service when I was like yeah. eight, to eight years old, and I could see the people all standing around, and it was it was an emotional thing going going back. Yeah, it, it does. I, I tell you what, what amazed me. There's a place in my state called the Forge. It was called the Forge. It was an old iron foundry, right? Okay? And um, it, it, there was a lot of waste ground there, and you go up there with your girlfriend, you know, and have, have a snog in it. <laughs> and uh, I remember the very first girl I ever kissed was a girl called Jennifer John. She was beautiful, this girl. Yeah. I haven't seen her since she's 15, but I, see I still remember she was beautiful. And um, I, remember, I went up the forge. There's now a big Tesco's there. Right. Okay. <laughs> but this wall is still there. Now, how an, uh, 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 and, you know, an, an, an object, an inanimate object, and give you some emotion. Yeah. I can. I remember the the day I was there with this girl. You yeah. know, yeah. And it, I was I was back there. I was fourteen, fifteen years old. You know. Yeah, that's amazing. I suppose there are walls like that all over Wales for you, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, latterly, probably. Oh, yeah. Not there. I, was, I was innocent then. <laughs> oh, that, that's that's great. And, and you mate, you enjoyed it as well. You you mate your pal. We we had a great time. We and we went in the pub. It was a mother's well, once. We had a, we had a bit of food and, and but it was funny looking at the pub it was totally different ah. there was a staircase there i said and there was something and it, it's all obviously been gutted and been redone you know yeah. and they've taken over the little cinema that was next door and incorporated it to its massive now. right but the facade's still exactly the same but um yeah and it was good and, and then uh, i took my friend back because he, he doesn't i think he's got slight memory problems mm -hmm. it's not bad I mean he remembered the fire I didn't yes yes, <laughs> yes. Um, and it, we just had a great time talking about old times and walking around you know yeah yeah. and because um, I, I, I do you know what it is you're looking around the streets and I, you recognise anybody then I realise the demographic <laughs> they're all my age now you know what I mean <laughs> some girls I went out with are probably grandmothers <laughs> 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 it hits you there, doesn't it? Because I'm talking about 19, let me think, 53, 50. I was then 1958, I left there, 59. Goodness me. It's a long time ago. It is a long time ago. It is funny, but the, the, the thing is, I've been going through some stuff in the attic lately. Uh, lots because yeah. we, we had a bit of a leak and uh, there were one thing leads to another and then trying to clear out the attic so they can do the work on it and um, came yeah. across all these papers, but photographs from school. You know, some of the people I haven't seen since then, and I, I just imagine that they'd be the same. But they, they're yeah, not the same. Right. They're all, they're all, they're probably all retired. <laughs> that's right. That's that's it. You mean it's quite frightening. There was a, a girl I met on a ship once, and she was beautiful. This woman, she was American, mm -hmm. and another friend of mine. I'm still in touch with. He's he's from Wales originally, but now he lives in Seattle. Okay. And I said, do you remember this girl? Um, and he said, yeah, but she's probably a grandmother now, John. And it, 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 it hits you because you still feel the same. Yeah. You think you're the same, but yeah. you obviously we're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember going to um, when I went to Tupelo to do all those things about Elvis, and of course yeah. I'd meet I'd meet all his old school friends. And, all right, you know, and of course they were in their eighties. You know, because exactly. you, still, you still see Elvis as the, I mean, I know he went, you know, went a little bit big towards the well, end. Well, he went early, didn't he? Yeah. yeah but it's like in um, Marilyn Monroe, she'd be, you know, in her nineties, all these oh, people. In the I love Marilyn Monroe. I can't, I, I, I tell you what, that shot of her stood over a, <laughs> a grill where the wind blew a skirt. For a 15 year old kid, that was something else. <laughs> Oh, but she was a beautiful woman. She was, she was really beautiful. Yeah, and she'll always always will be because she never got old. She always will be. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, for all they say about it, she was a good actress as well. You know, we yeah. we tend to just think she was a bit of a just a good looker. Yeah, but no, she was good. Yeah, some of those films. And do you remember that wonderful film, um, Some Like It Hot? Oh, I love that film. With, with it was a brilliant Jack film. Lemmon and, you know, yeah, yeah, Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon. Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, wonderful, yeah, 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 wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, look, you know the story about Jack Lemmon, don't you? No, in that film, no. Well, I forget. Billy Wilder, I think, was the um, uh, the director, and he said, "You're doing a bit too much there, Jack," because he was always yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah. He was a bit over the top. Yes. Um, can you do a bit less? He said, "Okay." He does it. No, you're still doing too much. Can you bring it back a bit? He said, "If I do any less, I'll be doing nothing." He said, "Now you get." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> because when you go from the stage, Johnny, as you well know, to film, as you have recently made with It's My Shout, you have to temper it yeah. down, don't you? Because they, they... Oh, got... it's totally different, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've got to act like I'm talking to you now rather than project into a theatre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, talking about My Shout, I'm going to the... Um, uh, the, the showing of the Premier. films. There's eight of them going to be shown right in the right. in the University of Cardiff to, uh, on the twelfth, and then uh, I think it's on BBC Two on um, the nineteenth. Great, great. Showing two of them that week, and they probably show some the next week. They've done four in English and four in Welsh, so S four C will have some as well. Fantastic, fantastic. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, it'd be great. Well, you know, it's it's funny, isn't it? Because you do something one year, or it's almost like a year later before anything comes out. But uh, that's right. Another yeah. six months if so, to wait. Um, and uh, uh, everything going right for Christmas? Everything preparations going okay? We're preparing. Yes, um, we've been out shopping already for the kids. Yeah, as we do for the kids. I've got most of the stuff now. I've got to put two more things to get for, the, for my two grandkids. Um, always at home at the moment writing the cards. <laughs> <laughs> you still do cards. You still do cards then. Yeah, you think if we say, oh, we're not going to do it yeah. next year, we'll send a message. Yeah. But then somebody will send you a card and you feel you Feels not good. obligated, but you feel yeah. you should send one back. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. But I think I'll cut down. I think I'll just send to my nearest and dearest. What we're going to do is we're going to send the money to charity next year. I think. And just put a big thing on on uh, Facebook. Yeah. Merry Christmas to all my friends, but we're giving this to the Salvation Army or wherever we give it to. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Um, yeah. And so, um, okay, so the Everyone Deserves a Christmas Charity thing seems to be going quite well away in the mangers, getting played on the radio and the videos being shown. Good, so that's good. good. You um, didn't involve me in this. You're like, I feel left out. Well, the thing is, you look terrible in a red dress. I, <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I, should have, I should have asked, shouldn't I? Yeah, 200 ladies in a red dress and half, uh, was there 30 kids in, in black T-shirts. I just didn't want you to stand out. But next year, John... I'll tell you what, I, I did a series years ago called Dan Revive, which was a, a situated comedy about the Romans conquering the Celts, OK? Right, right. And one of the scenes was I had to be in drag because I was in, in hiding, you know? Yeah. And it was frightening. I looked like my daughter. <laughs> I had this wig on. I think, goodness, it's Sally. <laughs> <laughs> and who else was it? Who's the the the, um, the famous actor was in that as well? Like, obviously, you're a famous actor. Oh, Reece Evans. Reece Evans was in it. Was it? Was he? Yeah, he was my oppo in it. Well, yeah, well, well, I think well. he was one of the first things he'd ever done. But I've seen Reese a few times since then. He's a great guy, Reese. He's always the same. Yeah, yeah, what a character. Yeah, good. Good actor, though. Good actor. All right, well, with the Swansea DSA last night, Cardiff Street Pastors tonight. Oh, my good life. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, isn't it? It's, that's right. And when you feel like it, and when you've got two minutes to yourself, you must come down and have a meal with I, me. And I can't there. wait. I can't wait. We should get everybody. We should have a, we should have a, a party with everybody who listens to the, the podcast. We should take oh, over, we'll have to have a, <laughs> take over the... Take over the, the, the <laughs> we'll have to take over the hotel. <laughs> the the Mallard Johnny Show Christmas dinner. Well, maybe next yeah. year. Oh, but that's lovely. A lovely invitation. Yeah, look forward, look forward just to doing that maybe in the new year as well. All right, look. Uh, give Emily our love then. And... And, uh, I will. See you next week. See you next week. And hopefully I'll have my own uh, Wi-Fi. <laughs> I hope they don't charge me. <laughs> All right, man. See you soon. It's, uh, and it's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from him. <laughs> goodbye. Ta-da. No star. Oh, I did my microphone. <laughs>